What's up guys, I'm Rice Cognac, and today I'm gonna be telling you guys what my tattoos mean. Tattoos on my knuckles, DWIF, dirty where I'm from. You could be from the lowest place on earth and you could be the most successful person. This camera in my hand, I was a photographer before I really like came up and did my music stuff. Got this phone roll tattoo. It wasn't until I started messing with my boys out in El Paso. Shout out to Vanner Grimm. I started coming up, started realizing what the game was, started putting my foot in the door. The ghost on my neck, it's another phone roll tattoo. This is one of the first ones I got. I got this tattoo of this tombstone on my hand because my dog passed away not so long ago. And all dogs go to heaven. I want anybody to know that's ever had a dog pass away. They all go to heaven. I got this coffin on my arm that says, your coffin or mine. Either you eat me or I eat you, you know? Like, the minute I stoop down to you, you're already eating me alive, so I will never stoop down to anybody. It's three on my face. Three is my lucky number, and I really recognized it. Like, I started seeing a lot of things in threes. The smiley face on my face has two X's in it. I do recognize that if you're not happy every day until you die, why are you alive, you know? Like, what's the fucking point? The reaper on my neck. Honestly, a lot of people think I fucking kill people or some shit. I can't fucking hurt a thing, honestly. The A on my neck, it's an anarchy symbol. No matter what crazy shit has happened in your life, it takes for that to build a better person, you know? I have a V, it's for v Long for all my High V's fans who know what that brand is. You live based on your own fucking thoughts. You don't do anything off of what other people think for all my true artists. This broken heart on my ring finger. Girl, fucked up my shit. And if it wasn't for that, I would have never became who I was today. So I thank her, honestly. Other than that, I'm in this shit by myself. And not as anybody else should be. If you're just relying on somebody else to be happy and shit, like I used to be that person. Make her happy, do this and that. And that would make me happy. And I wasn't making myself happy. And then when that shit fell out, I felt like shit because I didn't know what else made me happy. That was a time in my life where that shit wrecked my whole shit. Suicide's a real thing. People like, they fall out of love and they think like, you know, fuck, fuck all this shit. Why am I even alive? And I was one of those people. I'm not afraid to admit it. To anybody out there that's like going through that shit, it ha I have to, like, I cannot stress enough. You're here for you. Like if I were to wake up just fucking blank, like if they're all just gone, I'd be like, fuck. Like I'd almost look at myself like I went backwards. Cause it's just like, I've evolutionized through these tattoos. These, these tattoos show my growth. Like. I used to not have any. And I, I've seen photos of me like a year ago, like completely clear. Like the ink doesn't show enough what I've gained since then. In my head, I'm on a way different level. This shit is just what shows. My name is Rice Cognac. And no matter what the fuck people think you should be doing, if they don't like what you're doing, fuck them. If I have one thing to tell people, it's just do what you love to do every day. Whipping in the Rari, sipping, sipping.